This week, we stealth camp our way through the San Francisco Bay Area in our camper van, attend a movie screening at Pixar, hike Mount Tam, and I answer your questions about the Dodge Promaster. These hills are killing our MPG. I think the last fill up we got 11 and a half. 11 and a half in San Francisco. Yep, up and down, up and down. And you've never walked across the bridge, have you? It's fun. So what are you making us? We're having rice quinoa with onion and asparagus. Looks a bit like a uh, quinoa stew. There it is. That looks good. Mm. I love the richness of the avocado, the tahini, with all the rice and quinoa in there. And you've got the Golden Gate Bridge behind you. That I do. Not a bad view. Not at all. Bon appetit. Well, that was a fun way to spend the afternoon. It was. Look at the marine layer coming in over the mountain. spot for the night. Well, I did, and the police didn't come a knocking. Were you worried? I'm always worried about stuff like that. Well, I guess it comes with the stealth camping. Mm hmm. Let's go find a mall or park or something and hunker down, get Sounds some work good. done. Okay. okay. bad office for the day. I like it. Hey bud. This has definitely been one of the more interesting places for us to stealth camp in the camper van because we've got a Wildlife Sanctuary on one side and San Quentin Maximum Security Prison on the other. It was peaceful out here, except for the fact that whatever wildlife is over there is really noisy at night. It's kind of impressive, but Leo slept through it like a champ. Yeah, he did. Right, buddy? <laughs> Pant if you agree. Leo's blowing his coke. <laughs> it's that time of year. All right, well, you ready to get back on the road? We were at Pixar last night for a screening of Cars 3. Great movie. Thank you, Stuart, for the invite. And then afterwards, we decided to try and do some street camping around the Berkeley area. As you can see, we have some neighbors. There are quite a few RVs and other vans in the neighborhood. 
plus Leo loves walking around here. Some train noise, a few trucks here and there, but otherwise it was pretty peaceful. I got a great night's sleep. Me too. And a great Indian restaurant down the street. Vix is a great spot. I love the Indian street food they have. I think Leo loves street camping the most. He enjoys new neighborhoods. Thank you. First toll. First toll. Actually, this is the first toll we've paid since being on the road. We that never... was an expensive toll. Yeah, five dollars to go across the bridge. Well, it's a good thing we didn't pay to camp last night. <laughs> this is true. This view is amazing. And about how high are we at, at Mount Tam? Top of Tam is 20, uh, that, that hut over there is 20, 600, 2550 or something. Leo, look at the camera. Leo. <laughs> you have a new best friend. <laughs> He's like, can I come home with you guys? <laughs> it is quite the view we have though. Oh, it's incredible. Three hundred and eighty miles to Los Angeles. Shouldn't be too bad of a drive. We've spent a few nights at rest areas and some will let you spend all night and there are no restrictions. Here in California, you're limited to an eight hour stay. Hopefully we don't have to stop at a rest area tonight and we can power through all the way down to Los Angeles. You ready to get back on the road? I'm ready, let's go. Let's go. driving uh, almost 400 miles today, I figured today would be a good day to answer that question. In short, yes. The long answer is, when I first started driving it, it wasn't. And it took some time to get used to because the ProMaster has a much different seating position than a standard car, for example. Here you're sitting more upright. It's a lot like sitting in a dining room chair, for example. So your legs are going more straight down rather than out steering wheel comes up at you. There is no tilt steering, but the steering wheel does go in and out. So once you get used to it, I find it very comfortable. People have also asked whether there's enough power and everything. The Dodge Promaster is fine with power. Um, we can cruise, uh, go up hills, pass people, accelerate onto the freeway well. Now it's no rocket ship, but then again, this is a camper van and it is our home. So I'm not going to drive it like a race car. I'd be a lot more reserved driving this than I would a normal car. We're here, my mom is happy to see us. 
and I'm excited to go to sleep. All right. Good night, everyone. Lights out. Lights out. Next time, we head to YouTube Space LA where we get another shot at the claw machine and the camper van gets a well-needed scrub down. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to be notified of new videos, ring the bell below. And if you're new to the Camper Van Life series, start from the beginning by clicking over here. Thanks again for watching. See you next Wednesday.